Friends, we said to Hillim, now let's give some tzedakah and let's have a little dar Torah. Torah, tefillah, tzedakah, that's our strength. And this is what is going to take us out of Golos, especially these days when the Torah portions that we are learning, Vaera, starting with Shemois, Vaera, Boy, Bishalach, these are portions of the Torah telling us about the process of the Jewish people coming out of Egypt then and also telling us the process today. But let's look for a moment at something particular. God is telling Moshe Rabbeinu, go to Pharaoh and tell Pharaoh exactly what I have just told you. That I want you to let the Jewish people out. I promised it to Avram Avinu and the time is now. Moshe Rabbeinu responds to God by Yedabir Moshe I'm sorry, give me a second. I'm really sorry for that. And Moshe Rabbeinu spoke to God, I have blocked lips. I have a speech impediment. How do you expect Paroi to listen to me? I can't speak properly. Get somebody who speaks eloquently. So God responded, okay, you are going to speak you are going to be my emissary, but with you, your brother Aaron, he is going to be with you and he will be also your spokesperson. You're going to say it and then Aaron, 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 your brother, will be the one who is going to say it clearly that Para should understand. Now, if Aaron, Aaron is the one who can speak, why was it necessary for Moshe Rabbeinu to speak? And then, why did Moshe Rabbeinu have a speech impediment? So we know the story. Moshe Rabbeinu, who was saved by Pharaoh's daughter, Basia, when she took him out of the water, and she raised him in the palace of Pharaoh, had his mother nurse him. At the age of three, Paroi was playing with his little toddler, with his little infant, little boy. Sitting on his lap, suddenly Moshe pulled Paroi's crown. Paroi, always superstitious, got frightened. What is the meaning of this? Does it mean that he's pulling off my crown? And immediately there was his advisors who jumped on the opportunity and said, be careful, this could be the little child from whom you were concerned about that you said all the Jewish male boys should be killed because one of them will eventually destroy you. This could be the one. And let's immediately kill him before anything else goes further. But there was one other counselor, one other advisor said, let's first see if this child is at all intelligent. Did he do, do it just simply because a little child loves to pull uh, nice things or because he's really intelligent and he's sending a message? So let's test him. What is the test? They put in front of him some gold coins and they put in front of him also some beautifully glowing coal, enticing to the eye, looks colorful, looks nice. And let's see what he's going to take. Moshe Rabbeinu was going to take the gold so as to not burn himself by the coal. But an angel came and pushed his hand towards the coal, picked up the coal, put it in his mouth, and he burned his mouth. And that's why he had a speech impediment. So this, this call saved his life. But the question is now, why didn't God heal him? If he's supposed to go speak, why did God need to take him and have Aaron Akoin speak, so to say, after he gave the message, now Aaron Akoin is speaking in a clear fashion, why couldn't God either send Aaron Akoin, as Moshe Rabbein has been pleading, or Heal him. It would be no big thing for God to heal him. So the Ran, Rabbi Nisim ben Ruven explains a beautiful thought. He says, imagine Moshe Rabbeinu would be this eloquent speaker. Moshe Rabbeinu would have had the gift of Jab. 
charismatic. Great order. People would say that the reason why the Jewish people followed him is because that he was such a great charismatic leader. He came with a beautiful message of freedom. He, he aroused the people. He got everybody to follow him. So it was Moshe's doing. Says the Torah. People didn't follow Moshe Rabbeinu because he was a charismatic leader, although he was. Moshe Rabbeinu was followed because he was God's spokesman. Because they recognized the truth that Moshe Rabbeinu is saying. And that's why it needed Moshe to speak to Paroi. Paroi should hear the words directly from Moshe, the words of God. And then also understand them. But first he had to hear them. That's the message to us. We follow Mashiach because he's God's spokesperson.